Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on December 8th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun. We saw that large plasma filament twisting and turning in the southeastern limb of our sun yesterday. I was showing you large plasma tornado that has since lifted away creating a large CME, not in an earth-facing fashion, but that solar prominence definitely lifted away. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, as we have earth-facing sunspots to talk about, not much cresting right now, looking like we could have a big sunspot region on the left-hand side there, southern hemisphere of the sun. Looking at outgoing here, you can see that large solar prominence, right hand side there and then watch it take off and as well a small ejection on the left hand side so northeast region of our sun closer look here at that plasma filament leaving the surface of the sun as we are now going through solar cycle 25 which is a maximum heads up everybody Having a look at multi-spectrum and all the day's events, plasma filaments, minor solar flares, and of course, that huge plasma filament stretching from north to south on our sun. Let's hope that stays intact for an Earth-facing view. Another look here at our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Watching the bottom right and as well the bottom left hand side for a couple events. There seems to be lots of activity on the back side of the sun right now. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoy these daily updates. If you do, please don't forget to smack that like button. And maybe share with your friends and family from around the world. Having a look at Alaska 2 here as Watching the bottom left-hand side, just above the timestamp, you're going to see a small sun-diving comet right there. And as well, looking at the bottom right-hand side there, that large plasma filament eruption. As I said, not in an Earth-facing fashion, but a big one. Stay tuned tomorrow for full images of that leaving the surface of the sun. Lasco 3 shows a bit of it here. Time has been cut off for the imagery. You'll see more tomorrow. Stay tuned. Solar X-ray flux in a heightened sea range right now after throwing off one C-class solar flare in the past 24 hours. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated today up to almost a KP3. After jumping up to KP5 yesterday, Real-time solar wind sitting at about 500 kilometers per second, sorry, 547, after being up over 606 kilometers per second earlier today. Show you here our magnetosphere. See how it's holding up. These are the pressure planes. These are the solar winds pounding our planet. Black side of that circle is dark side of the sun, or sorry, dark side of Earth. That is all the solar energy hitting us. Looking at ISPWA space prediction spiral, not showing a major CME, but slightly faint within the energy taking off in a backside fashion. And we do have a big sunspot region turning in right now. Looking at the Aurora forecast for the next 24 hours, big chance for probability of Northern Lights across Canada. Smaller chance towards Europe. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Quick glance here at telemetry. Quality of 8.1, power of 7, amplitude of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as things are picking up. The last few days, we're going to start out here with a large 
5.8 earthquake that struck Indonesia. Western Java, very close to Krakatoa volcano, as well as 4.3 there offshore. That was yesterday. Activity through Gorontalo, Indonesia as well, pretty deep for the region. 5.5 there. Papua New Guinea, and as well as 5.4 Solomon Islands. Fiji region, that was the deep earthquake from yesterday, only reporting a 5.1 today, shallow. As well, a pretty rare earthquake here popping off in the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 5.3 at a shallow depth. Heads up, New Zealand, you've gone quiet. Overlooking Hawaii, largest through the region today, two 3.6s, one atop of Kilauea and the other Mauna Loa. No new activity for Japan today. Adak, Alaska with a 4.3. Then looking across the United States, most recent here, 3.1 in Fort Bidwell, California, zero kilometer depth. 3.6 there, notable. And 3.4, Loyalton. And then across the New Madrid here, minor activity up in Nebraska. But just showing here the last seven days for activity across the North American plate. As we're seeing things increase and in minor earthquakes through the New Madrid. Carrying on here with a 4.3 in Mexico off the coast of the Riviera plate. Minor activity through Caribbean San Antonio de los Cobros, pretty deep earthquake there, 4.4, 230 kilometer depth, as well as 4.4 Chile. This was a 4.8 reported yesterday, South Sandwich Islands and Mid-Atlantic Ridge reporting today a 5.4 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. We get to Italy, Marata with a 4.4, Western Turkey with 4.3, that was from yesterday. And then a 5.5 here in Caucasus region of Russia, Followed by a 4.4, 4.2 there, Iran. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Still up, slightly above average as we're sitting about 250 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS. Quick glance at the last seven days for activity. As the ring of fire seems to have activated here for the last couple weeks, especially with all the volcanic activity but not too much to talk about for large earthquakes. Only one 6.7 there, Tonga. And that one's just about to leave these visuals as it's been some time since we have, we have had a 6.0 or greater. So heads up, North American plate and all across the Ring of Fire and down into Central America. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Seems to be a hot spot recently, Ecuador. For volcanic activity, not too much for earthquakes though. Carrying on here amongst all the floods, Popo in Mexico, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Samaru, Indonesia. That's all in the last three hours. That's eight volcanoes. Carrying on here, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala. Hundred and sixty-five hazards across this map right now. Era in Japan. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today, and that's just in the past five hours. So heads up. Large low-pressure system through the Atlantic there. That thing is massive. As well, a large low-pressure system in the Pacific, just west of Hawaii, and is going to be heading northwards towards Alaska. But intense moisture through the North Pacific right now developing, and a lot of snow is falling across Russia and as well through the Pacific, North Pacific. 
quick glance here at satellite imagery from the rest of the world as we have tropical storm about to make landfall in southern India. And as well, big system heading into Spain, bringing thunderstorm conditions and snow falling in parts of Eastern Europe, Finland, and even as far as the UK, as cold temperatures are sweeping across Europe right now. Having a look here at windy.com, showing forecast models for precipitation as the West Coast through Northern California, seeing some precipitation the next 24 hours, but they've also got a big low on their doorstep, and that's going to be the big weather maker here through the United States and central regions of Canada, and then up into Ontario. Now, you could see some pretty severe weather here through Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, but a lot of snow will be falling on the backside of this system as the cold temperatures are fueling around. Polar vortex is set up for winter, and we've got about 11 days until the first day of winter, and then our days are going to start getting longer. That's kind of exciting. That used to be my father's favorite day of the year. Big storm developing long range through the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Pretty heavy there Saturday into Sunday. And then again Tuesday into Wednesday next week. But no major systems affecting you this week. Overlooking Africa. Madagascar, daily evaporation, rains. South Africa could be heavy at times. And as well through central regions, it seems that they're just crashing. Moisture coming in from the east and the west, crashing right over South Africa right now. Overlooking Europe, got subtropical storm Nicole still churning through the North Atlantic, bringing in a lot of moisture for Spain and then through Central Europe. Long range forecast by Saturday, you've got another one on your doorstep. But snow is a falling across Europe right now and across Russia. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, got tropical cyclone about to make landfall. As I said, through southern India, it is a category one cyclone. Stormy weather through northern Philippines in the next couple days, and as well, spotty showers and some extreme weather developing for parts of Australia. Wanted to show you here a long-range forecast over the North Pacific. Look at all that snow flying all over the place. These large systems wrapping up a lot of moisture right now. And I do believe the 51 volcanoes erupting around the world has something to do with it. Let's have a look at a snowfall totals for the next little bit. As Ontario will see, maybe 5 centimeters, 10 centimeters of snow. But snow is falling and accumulating across Europe. Japan, Kamchatka, eastern Russia, and of course Alaska over the next 10 days. Going to see some heavy amounts, up to 300 centimeters through parts of Alaska. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike, Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.